I'm absolutely delighted to be able to tell you today we launched our VET product, the VET cancer screening product, yesterday as planned at Texas A&M. Uh, this is a fantastic milestone for us. I, I couldn't be more delighted for the team. And uh, we can do that now because we've had great data. It's a very accurate test. It's a multi-billion dollar addressable market. And it now proves um, that our assays are reliable, reproducible and robust and can truly be run in any lab in the world. So it's a fantastic time. I, I couldn't be happier. And I'll leave Heather now to fill you in on the rest of the details. We are really excited about our new test. This test is now available through the Gastrointestinal Laboratory website. You can get on and order it straight from them. It's a simple test. All it requires is a blood sample. You can send that blood sample in and usually get your results back within a matter of a few days. We've been using it to detect dogs with lymphoma and hemangiosarcoma, which are common cancers that can or represent up to a third of the cancers that we see in dogs. This is a great test for your annual wellness checks for these older dogs, seven and up, or for those breeds that are at high risk for developing cancer. And we think it's really going to help uh, make a big difference in the lives of our furry friends by allowing them to have early diagnosis of cancer where we can get in there and start treating and improve their quality of life and the quality of care that they can get. Please see our website for a lot of additional information about this test. We have videos from our key opinion leaders. Uh, we had a round table where we went through all the data with them. That includes Tim Fan, David Vale, and Sue Ettinger. We also have information about the assay, when to use it, when not to. Uh, and in addition to that, if you'd like more information, we're gonna be doing a webinar on uh, December 9th at 7 p.m. Central Time. That will be myself and Dr. Sue Ettinger. We're going to give you some information about the test, some case examples on when to use it, and also be available for a live Q&A uh, if you have any additional questions that we can answer for you.